Okay, I'll I'll start the class already. Teka, no, there's another question. The deadline for problem set two that was extended. If you take may announcement sa uvle, um, didn't you see the announcement for extension for that that was extended? Um, kana ba yung? I think it was extended to. Tignan, tignan lang sa uvle, no? There's an announcement. I think that was extended to Monday. Okay. On that, on deadline for the quiz, I think is Saturday, no? If I'm not mistaken. And then there will be a uh, um, there will be a quiz released uh, right after the the quiz two is closed. May quiz three na release. This is our attempt na makahabul, um, makahabul sa schedule. Okay, any question with regard to the node voltage method or nodal analysis? What we took up last Tuesday. So this the, the method, this method of circuit analysis we call nodal analysis. Also, it's also called the node voltage method. Any questions before I take up this example? Okay, so I take it, I take it, voila. Okay, so ito yung ito yung pinaka anong case ba to, no? Third case natin, ano? So yung straightforward straightforward uh, nodal analysis, we took an example in on that. And then we took an example with the floating voltage source, okay? That was our second case. Then we took an example with dependent source. And then in this example, uh, we have a dependent source that is floating. So meron tayong dependent source that is floating. So ito yun. Ano? What is this? This is a voltage controlled voltage source or a voltage dependent voltage source. So in, in this particular example, we can easily form the KCL equation for node A. No? So gawin natin yun, yung KCL equation for node A. I hope you reviewed the material from, from last time. Okay. So what are the what are the terms for the KCL equation for node A? First of all, the current flowing through this branch. So what is that? That is VA minus VC all over eight. That's the current flowing through this branch. Yeah, VA minus VC over the resistance eight. Okay. Then you have the current flowing through this branch. So that's VA minus VB all over six. Okay. And then you have the current that is being provided by the current source. What is this, plus or minus? So just I just want to see whether you're awake, no? Plus or minus? Okay, minus, no? Good, minus. So minus three is equal to zero. So it's an equation out in for node A. Actually, it, this is exactly the same as the floating vo If you notice this circuit is exactly the same as the floating voltage source circuit in our second example, the node A equation is exactly the same. The only difference is your floating voltage source ginawa kong uh, dependent voltage source. So pag tinignan nyo to, you cannot apply 
you cannot apply KCL to node B because if you do, hindi natin alam kung ano yung current na dumadaan dito sa branch na to. No? So hindi natin pwedeng i-apply yung KCL sa node B. Ganun din dito sa node C. We cannot apply KCL in node C because I don't know the current flowing through this branch. So what do we do? We combine node B and node C into a super node. That's right. No, uh, Somebody beat me to it. We combine this into a super node. And then we apply KCL to the super node. No? So we have a super node. Let's apply KCL to the super node. So what are the currents leaving the super node? So here, ano ito? That's VB minus VA over six. Okay, ito nasa baba. That's VB over three. Okay, meron tayo rito. That's VC over four. Okay, meron tayo dito sa taas. VC, tuloy ko rito, no? VC minus VA over eight. And finally, meron tayo nitong 5 ampere source. So this is minus 5. Bakit minus? Because it's entering the node, not leaving. This is equal to 0. So that's my second equation. Okay. I have three unknowns. VA, VB, VC. I only have two equations. What is my third equation? So my third equation is the information that does not yet, the information that appears in this circuit, but that does not yet appear in any of these two equations. Now what information is that? Information on the controlled source. That's a voltage source. So we say VC, VC minus VB is equal to the value of the voltage source, which is equal to 2 Vx. Now, why is it Vc minus Vb? Because the right side is positive with respect to the left side. Therefore, it's Vc minus Vb. Pero wait, no? Ano yung Vx? That's another unknown. But actually, it's, it's, it's very trivial to express Vx in terms of our... Uh, other uh, our node voltages, no? Because what is Vx? Ito yung Vx. And notice Vx is simply Vc minus Va. No? So this is equal to 2 times Vc minus Va. No? So I have one equation here. I have this other equation here. And then I have this other equation here. So three equations in three unknowns. Oops. Tama, no? Somebody caught me. <laughs> it's not VC, it's, uh, it's VA minus VC. Thank you for being awake. No. Okay, so it's uh, VA minus VC. VX is VA minus VC, so thank you for being awake. No. Okay, so three equations in three unknowns. Therefore, it's now again a math problem. It's no longer an EE problem. Okay, so if you go to the original notes, okay, this is exactly what we did. So, VB minus uh, VC is equal to 2VX. VX is equal to dito tama, no? Sa notes, VA minus VC. And so the three equations, three unknowns, you're going to get VA is equal to 24 volts. VB is equal to 9.6. VC is equal to 19.2. So again, if you know all the node voltages, you can solve for all of the currents in the circuit. So yun yung point ng having, having knowledge of all the node voltages. Ngayon, lahat ng currents sa... Uh, so circuit natin, pwede natin i-solve. Any question with regard to this? I'm going to 
let you take a stab at this one. No? So dito, ang, ang ginawa lang dito, ano lang, no? It's a, it's a node voltage equation. Binaliktad lang what is known and what is unknown. So dito, ang given is, is your VA and your VB. And what you're being asked to solve for is R and IS. Okay? So can, can you try this on your own? Can you try this on your own? Come up with an answer for R and come up with an answer for IS. And I'll, 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 I'll give you a tip, no? Um, if you try to solve this, you're going to be able to solve for R, both R and for, and, and for IS without having to solve any simultaneous equation. Okay, so try to solve this on your own. And uh, if, you can, if you can message me through the chat box what your answer is, and then let's, let's see how we, we do it later on, no? after I've gotten a number of uh, responses. Okay, so bukan Please try, you know. Um, I know that some of you probably will probably just want to close your eyes and relax or, or do other things while the others are trying, but you're not going to learn as well if you don't, if you don't give it a try. So please try. Kahit na, kahit na yung R lang muna, no? Anybody already come up with a value for R? Has anyone come up with a value for R? So, okay, I have some answers. Uh, they're all direct messages. I'll wait for a few more answers then I'll tell you whether your answer is correct or not. So I have a... Uh, an answer from anybody else? Um, so far, lahat ng sagot na nakuha ko tama except from John. Can you try again, John? John uh, Valentos? Pero lahat ng ibang uh, values na, naku na nakuha ko so far tama. So this is, this is a typical quiz question, no? Um, yung mga problems na, na binibigay sa mga quizzes sa uble, typically it takes you only about a few minutes to, to solve, no? Two minutes, three minutes to solve. So typically ito. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? See, si John, have you tried again?
Uh, Rick, your answer is wrong. No, your answer is wrong, Rick. Rick Ancheta. Okay, Rick, your answer is now correct. Pero sumasagot na sa IS ano? Uh, actually, ang hinihi ko palang is uh, R. No? <laughs> okay, uh, everyone so far that has answered me has gotten it right. Um, sayang naman yung iba, no? You, you, you. I don't know whether you tried or not, no. Uh, but the answer for R is equal to four. Answer for R is equal to four, and you're going to see it's it's quite trivial. So apply KCL, apply KCL here to node A. So what is my KCL equation for node A? I have uh, V A over R. Okay, plus VA over 4. So ito yung keren dito, no? VA over R, pababa. Ito yung keren dito, VA over 4. Okay, plus VA minus VB over 2 is equal to this current. No? It's equal to minus 2. Uh, or sorry, it's equal to 2. This is current entering, and then this is current leaving, current leaving, and current leaving. So this is of the form current entering is equal to current leaving. So simple substitution, 7 over R plus 7 over 4 plus VA minus VB. What is VA 7? What is VB 10? So minus 3 over 2 is equal to 2. And you solve for R, you're going to get R is equal to 4 ohms. <clears throat> so very, very simple substitution. Okay, so what is IS? I already have several answers. So far, lahat ng sagot na nakuha ko. Uh, Pinatang ba ni John yung sagot niya? I, I have, so far all the answers I get got except for the first answer submitted by John was is wrong. No? Okay. Okay. Iniba na raw niya. No? Yeah, that's right. Kita ko na. Okay. So what is IS? IS is also equal to 4 amperes or is equal to 4 amperes. Okay? So, paano kukunin yung IS? IS naman, you do KCL at B. So what is KCL at D? KCL dito, okay? That's VB minus VA over 2 plus VB over 8, okay? And then you have another VB over 8. Actually, yung dalawang 8 na kaparalel. No? Plus VB over 8 again. You have, uh, the two 8s are in parallel. Okay. Plus or minus IS is equal to 0. Again, simple substitution. Okay. VB minus VA, that's 10 minus 7. That's 3 halves. Plus VB over 8, so that's 10 eighths plus 10 eighths is equal to IS. So if you solve for this, you're going to get IS is equal to four. Okay. Okay. 
Any questions with regard to this? So again, no? it might look intimidating, but the solution is very simple. Okay, let, let me take up another example. This one, I'll, 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 I'll do this for you, no? Get an expression for the voltage at X in terms of the conductances of R1, R2, and R3. There's a question here, no? Let me look at the question. So there's a question, no? Nodal analysis, best method for circuit analysis. Actually, um, um, objective ng nodal analysis is to reduce the number of simultaneous equations. But it does not mean uh, all circuits, for all circuits, that's the best way of solving it. Because sometimes when you look at the circuit, you can, you can, you can already see the solution just using a combination of KCL and KVL. No? So sometimes, uh, sometimes may makita ko yung circuits na by inspection and by KCL and KVL, masasolve nyo kaagad. But when normally when you have a more complex circuit and you and you want to solve for voltages and currents in that circuit and you don't want to solve for too many um, simultaneous equations, then you do nodal analysis. Actually, there's another technique. It's called mesh analysis. Um, unfortunately, hindi natin hindi hindi sinama yun sa triple E one two three. Because nodal analysis, you apply KCL to the nodes. In mesh analysis, you apply KVL to the meshes. And instead of node voltages, you, you're computing for mesh currents. So parang, parang siya yung partner ng nodal analysis, except that you're applying KVL and you're, you're computing for mesh currents. And uh, I don't know why, I, I don't know, no? I don't know why they don't teach that in one, two, three. Because it's, it's just as good a method or sometimes even better than nodal analysis. If you're interested, you can look up the reference textbook. But, but for now, um, nodal analysis lang ang tinuturo. Okay, so let's do this. No? Show that the voltage at X is actually the weighted average of V1, V2, and V3 if the weights are the conductances of R1, R2, and R3. So let me apply KCL to X. Okay. So anong, if this is my reference, if this is my reference, what is the voltage at this node? The voltage at this node is V1. No? The voltage at this node is V2. And the voltage at this node is V3. Right? So if I apply KCL to X, I have VX minus V1 over R1, okay, plus VX minus V2 over R2, plus VX minus V3 over R3. This is equal to zero, right? This current, this direction, this current, this direction, and this current, this direction is equal to zero. That's assuming walang nakakabit dito sa x. No? Wala namang pinapakita nakakabit dito sa x. Therefore, it's equal to zero. Sorry, this is R1. No? Let's, let's write this expression in terms of conductances. In terms of conductances, you have G1 multiplied by Vx minus V1 plus G2 multiplied by Vx minus V2 plus G3 multiplied by Vx minus V3 is equal to zero. If I simplify, I'm going to get Vx multiplied by G1 plus G2 plus G3, okay? And then putting the V1, V2, and V3 terms in the other side of the equation, I'm going to get G1, V1, plus G2, V2, plus G3, V3. So finally, I'm going to get Vx 
is equal to G1 V1 plus G2 V2 plus G3 V3 all over G1 plus G2 plus G3. What is what is what does this expression look like? This is a weighted average expression. No. G1, G2, and G3, these are your weights. Then V1, V2, and V3 are your values. These are your values. So may values at may weights. I'll give an example. No? Kung meron kang, kung meron kang kinuhang dalawang subject itong semester. No? Yung isa three units, yung isa five units. Okay? So you, you, let's say you have two subjects this semester. One is three units, one is five units. Doon sa three units, ang grade mo uno. Doon sa five units, ang grade mo dos. What is your grade point average? No? Your grade point average would be three units multiplied by your grade one plus five units multiplied by your grade two over three plus five. No? That's your grade point average. So hindi ba yun din yung ginagawa nito? No? So sabihin natin, V1, V2, and V3, those are your grades in your subjects with G1 units, G2 units, and G3 units. So this is how, that's, this is, uh, how you would compute for your grade point average. So in effect, this is really a computational circuit where the, the weights are fixed. Your weights are fixed by R1, R2, R3, and then your voltages are assumed to be variable. That depends on the actual values that you want to weigh, uh, that, that you want to get a weighted average of. Okay. So ito yun, no? this is your weighted average expression. So this gives you some form of hint that you can actually use electric circuits to perform calculation. In fact, the earliest computers were analog computers that were performed using electric circuits. Okay. Any question? Any question in this example? Nineteen the concept. Okay, the third exercise. Determine the values of the node voltages of the circuit shown. Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes. I want you to, uh, I want you to try solving this on your own. No? At least try setting up the, at least uh, try setting up the equations for, for this circuit. Can you do that? Okay, can you do that? And then tell me what, as you do it, tell me what problem you're encountering, if, if ever. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you about uh, five minutes to try to set up the equations for this.
may mga lumalabas na na problema no um, i'm i'm starting to get some feedback so anyone else like to tell me uh, what what difficulty you're having Okay, so yun, no? may dalawang, apparently may dalawang super nodes na magkatabi, tama ka. No? That's right. Laging may vert voltage source pag nag-KCL, that's right. No? So that's, that's a problem. No? Nag-KCL ka, there's a voltage source, so it introduces new unknowns. No? So supposedly, you do a super node, pero nagkakaroon ng mga complications. No? So having trouble identifying the super node, Not two voting voltage sources. Okay, good. At least nakita niyo yung problema, no? So let let me let let's let's go through this together, no? Just okay. Okay, hindi ako pwedeng mag KCL dito. Bakit? Dahil meron kang voltage source rito na hindi natin alam yung current, no? Hindi ako pwede mag-KCL dito because I have a voltage source here and I have a voltage source here and so I don't know the current flowing there. No? And then I also cannot do KCL here because I have a voltage source here. So may nagtatanong, is KCL at the ground possible? <laughs> Actually, it is. no. It's unusual, but it is, it is possible. Pero kasi sa, sa node voltage method, okay, in general, sa node voltage method, you don't apply KCL to your reference node. It's just that in this particular case, you can, no? You can, because you have no other KCL equations which you can form. But in general, it's not normally done. But you're right, you could if you wanted to. Okay. So, if you were to solve this traditionally, what would you do, no? you'd like to combine this two into a super node. But the problem is, even if you combine this into a super node, okay, this is a current entering the super node, a voltage source then to. No? So what you do is actually you combine one nodes, one, two, and three into one super node. No? So you have to combine one, two, and three into one giant super node. That's what you, that's what you would do. Uh, there's a question. Yeah, you can make two super nodes. Well, essentially it's just one super node. No? You can combine the two super nodes into one super node. Let me, let me redraw this, no? Maybe it will become clearer if I redraw this. So let me show you V3, okay, V2, and then I have uh, V1, ah, sorry. Uh, That's V3, V1, V2. Between V3 and V1, I have a 12 volt source. So this is 12 volts plus minus 12. Uh, that's between V3 and uh, V1. Between V1 and V2, I have an eight volt source where the polarity is this minus plus eight volts. So this is V2, okay. I have a resistor here. And I thought this is five, five ohms. I have a resistor here. This is four ohms. I have a resistor here. This is 10 ohms. And then this is ground. And then from V, 
to V2, V3 to V2, I have a 0 0.25 amperes. Okay. Asan ang, asan ang super node ko rito? Okay. This is my super node. Maybe, maybe you should call it a super, super node. Super node. Remember what we said about the super node? We don't even have to know what's inside. Basat, lahat ng currents moving away from the node would be equal to zero. So this current plus this current plus this current will be equal to zero. So what is the expression for my super node? Expression for my super node, what is this current? This current is V3 over 5. What is this current? That's plus V1 over 4. What is this current plus V2 over 10 is equal to 0. May nagtanong kanina. Pwede bang mag KCL sa ground? Actually, this is the same same as KCL at the ground. No? If I did a KCL at the ground, I'm going to get exactly this equation. Now, this is one equation. What are my other two equations? Anyone tell me? What are my other two equations? No? Gamitin ko yung information sa circuit. What are my other two equations? Yeah, from the voltage sources, that's right, no? So first, V3, okay, somebody answered. V3 uh, minus V1 is equal to 12, no? And then V2 minus V1 is equal to 8. That's right, no? V2 minus V1 is equal to 8. So I have my three equations. May tanong ako sa inyo. Anyway, three equations, three unknowns. So solve na yung problem. Okay. Just your calculator that has to work for you. Now I have a question. What if, what if, sorry. What if this had been my super node? What if that had been my super node? Am I going to get a different equation? Yes or no? Okay, uh, before you answer, before you answer, look at the circuit very carefully. So I got the right answer from Justin. No, I got the right answer from Paolo. Yeah, the current from the current source will cancel. That's right, no? So if if I if I made this my super node, ano mangyayari? I have five five currents associated with the super node. No, I have these three original currents, and then I have this current. And then this current. Pero yung current na lumalabas dito, which is 0.25, is equal to the current that is entering here, which is 5. No? So ang mangyayari yung equation ko, meron lang akong plus. Here I'll have a plus 0.25 minus 0.25 plus. No? So magkakaroon lang ng plus 0.25 and then minus 0.25. So magka-cancel out. So I'm, I'm going to get exactly the same equation. Okay, so it does not matter, no? I could have, when combining when co combining my nodes into super nodes, because maybe your dilemma here is, how do you combine uh, more than two nodes into a super node? 
No, it doesn't matter. I could have combined it this way. I could have combined it the whole thing. I'm going to get the the in uh, the same result. Okay. In other words, this doesn't even have to be a current source. That could have been, for example, a resistance. Because the current flowing here will be also the current flowing into here. No. So kahit na, even if this had not been a current source, if the, that had been a resistance, for example, if that had been a voltage source, if that had been anything, the current entering one, one terminal would have been the current leaving the other terminal. Okay, I'm going to cancel out. So you're going to get the same equation. And that is my last slide. So like I said, I anticipated a short session today, um, give you time to work on your problem set and your quiz and do your quiz. So any questions, any questions? May tanong ba? Those that don't try to follow, I encourage you to try to follow. No? Try to answer as we go along. I have no way of monitoring you. The only way I can do so is if you uh, chat with me or if you don't. What can you hear to? I don't know to ask questions even even uh, through voice. I know. You can interrupt me anytime. So there's a question from, let me just uh, stop sharing now. Exercise three. I know exercise three. Uh, Ah, yung, yung example that I just gave. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yun nga, no? Um, tama ka, no? Kasi kung nag, kung nag KCL ka dun sa, ano? Kung nag KCL ka dun sa ground, okay? Then, tama ka. Uh, in effect, no? In effect, you were able to solve it without using a super node, no? But, pero nagkataon lang yun sa problem na yun. It, it just ended up, may pagkachamba lang yun. No? It just ended up that the supernode equation was also the uh, KCL equation at ground. <laughs> That's not going to be the case always. So I, I hope that answered your question. Any other question? Uh, so a question from John San sampo pwedeng makita ng ibang problems like yung mga examples na binigay ko um actually you can you can look at the book no may may uh, may um, recommended reference uh yung Nielsen and Rydell Electric circuits, Nielsen and Rydell. You can look at the book. There's a whole there's a whole chapter there, if I'm not mistaken, that discusses nodal analysis and mesh analysis. Like I said, hindi natin kino yung mesh analysis, so you nodal analysis. Yun lang yung tignan, no? There are many examples there. So tignan yung yung reference natin. Any any other questions? Okay, now um ganito gawin natin, no? Uh, officially the class is ended. Kasi ano no. But I'll stay on um if I'll 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 keep my 
I'll keep my Zoom on. I'll, I'll stop the recording now, but I'll keep my Zoom on. If people want to chat, ask anything, they can. I'll keep it on for as long as people are still uh, chatting. No? Um, kung wala nang mga pumapasok, then that's, that's the only time I'll turn it off. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you.